Do you like bench wipes? Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> Do not miss the first match. How about one hit kills? I regret to inform you that this deck might be expensive. I mean, look at that attack cost. Look at the insane cost to craft this deck. You gotta make sure you full art your waifus. That's right, we're gonna cut down on cost and cut down your opponent with scissors. Okay. Hello on the girls of the Frenchels. Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving you a Scissors Miss Magius deck. Pause the deck video if you need and move on after a good read. So how do you wipe the board? Well, I'd use a cleaning spray, maybe a rag. But for Dokemon Pokemon, I'd use Eerie Voice. One energy, put two damage counters on all of your opponent's Pokemons. Radiant Alakazam can help you with this by moving two damage counters around your opponent's Pokemon, helping you knock up some higher HP Pokemons. After using attack three to four times, it's time to make some babies! With Technical Machine Devolution, put all your opponent's evolved Pokemon back into their hand, leaving behind their low HP baby forms. So what happens if you face a Colossus that does not evolve? Time to bring out David. David gets stronger for every ability that your opponent has. And many basic mana decks do run a lot of abilities, allowing you to take a 1 hit KO against double prizers, which gives you a prize advantage. Now your opponent might get smart. He's not going to bench Pokemons with abilities that he doesn't need right away. That's why we're going to bench it for him! Echo and Horn, put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard back on her bench, and you get 50 more damage. Still need more damage? Remember, Miss Magius and Alakazam can damage and weaken your opponent's side of the field, making it easier for Scissor to take KOs. This Iron Man suit is really tough. 140 HP means you can't get one shot by certain meta cards like Amp You Very Much, Sableye, Cramorant, Lost Box, pretty much. Now be careful against Gardevoir deck if they have bench space for the Banana Boat. The Banana Boat moves two damage counters from each of your opponent's Pokemon to one of your Pokemon, and that counters Miss Maggie is pretty hard. Still, you can beat them with scissors if you just focus on using scissors. Do not miss the first match. The second match is against Entei, which looks like Noah Sawyer's deck from LAIC. Check out my covers on Spotify, and you can use them too, whenever you like. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Because having dawn in your day makes your life more vibrant. Thank you very much for visiting me today. We'll begin the matches after this match, bro. Have you seen a Glossopod EX deck? I've never seen one. And this was the very first time I played against Glossopod EX deck. And if I was playing something that, you know, was an EX that was weak to mimic you, maybe it would have been very strong. But we will see. I have no EX, so mimic you, charging up. Nah, whatever. Uh, I'm lucky with that. But let's go. I'm going to put my cover. This is going to be Gamers, uh, the opening. Here's my cover. Here we go. Alrighty then. So, this was the very first time I played it. I don't know if you guys ever ran into it online, but who makes a Glissopod deck? You're awesome. And you also use Battle V Fish, so you're extra awesome too. And <laughs> you see, Donald has a Battle VIP Fish, but Donald's not going to play it. And that is because I mean, Battle V Fish would not have been a bad idea. But I wanted to, I was like, I already got enough bench space. Look at that, four bench space right on turn one. You don't need to waste a battle of AP fish here, so that's, that's fine. He could also have retreated and attacked with Battle of AP Fish 2 and fill up his bench, which would have been appropriate, but I think he was trying to take the kill here. And Miss Dravis somehow got lucky. Usually confusion's uh, effects are usually automatic, but this one has a very weak confusion. So luckily I won a coin flip, and let's see if he's able to take the first the kill with Mimikyu here. He's not... Uh, wait a minute, he used the ability. He used the ability. Zathu's ability allows you to charge up Psychic Energies onto your bench and draw two more cards, as you saw there, which is awesome. So he didn't actually play an energy yet. So he may not commit, he may not want to risk the confusion. 
ta 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 ta. So Dolph, Dolph is thinking, how many abilities is on the other side? I see two, but once Glisto pop, there's only one, and there's Mimikyu. Ah, okay, so 100 damage from Scissors is not really enough here, and he decides, okay, let's not deal with the Mimikyu, let's go out and use the Battle of AP Fish. Anyone, by the way, if you use Battle of AP Fish, you're awesome. Anyone who uses VIP Fish, it's cool. It is the cool move. Okay, so there we go. VIP Fish summons out a full bench, and that Glispa is ready to kick my mud brain. And very fortunately, I hit the first attack here, so let's go, come on, oh, please give me Evolve the Ghost. Evolve it, I don't know. Oh, I did not get to evolve the ghost, but Scissor is ready to attack. I could retreat, and that's what I'm gonna do. I need to take the prize. <laughs> Donald, you forgot you could take, you wanna take the prize advantage whenever you can. So yes, Donald should have just, just attacked that, that there. Mm, yep, 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 yep. So you can do better than Donald on this one. Now, how many abilities is on the other side? There are four right now, but. I think he's about to evolve the Glissopod, so my damage is going to go down again. So, Scissor's damage is looking... Looking in peril here. Now, let's see if he can retreat here. Ooh, man, that is going smoothly. This, this, this... If you see a strategy, uh, you'll see it. We'll, we'll talk about when it comes through. Just watch him charge up his Pokemon. Uh, the Glissopod's coming out, guys. It's going to come and smack my ghost. And now, prize advantage is very big. I missed out by not retreating attacking. So, we'll see what Donald can do here. Alright, here comes Glissopod. Glissopod, what are you going to do? Show everybody what you can do. 170 damage. That's a pure two-shot potential. And he can send out a uh, Pokemon just to take a hit. Here, take Battle of the Big Fish. Now I can use the counter catcher, but I have nothing to really counter catch on. So we're gonna go ahead. We need to find an energy. Actually, that that Raihan's gonna find everything right there. Boom! I get the correct energy, and I can find Miss Maggie. Is awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and throw our deck here. Which is like, what else we need here? Alakazam. <laughs> Great. Okay. Don't really need to move energy damage counters anywhere right now. And I'm gonna try to pull that. The reason I pulled that out is because it's three retreat. That's three retreat. Maybe he doesn't have a switch in hand, and he can't get that three retreat back. Ah, I'm hoping it's like don't have a switch in your hand. That's why that was played. If that doesn't happen, I will get a ton of free hits with my wizard tier. So, you got your retreat, man? Can you switch? That's not a switch. That is Clara. Clara is very good. Two energies, two Pokemon. It pretty much guarantees you can set up whatever you want here. Alright, Glissabot is ready to attack again. He's got a nice setup, his whole board. Oh, okay, you know what? We only need one Sushi Master 2.0. So we're gonna send this out right there and just let it take. That kinda sucks. That kinda sucks. But I can see how this deck is working now. The deck on the other side has to pay enough of energy every time it wants to attack, which is kinda interesting. I mean, every once a retreat. Yeah. It has to pay energy to attack. Because it loses energy, it also has to pay the energy to retreat too. So it's kind of difficult to pull off and maintain. But he's doing pretty well here. Okay. 11 cards in his hand too. Okay, so what, we are going to go ahead and play our Clara too. So this is what I have to do is because I'm trying to go for the bench wipe here. And I only have two Miss Magius. So that's why that had to come through right now. So I get Miss Magius again. Alright, let's get the Scyther online. Yeah, oh my gosh, three Pokemon are ready to go. This is awesome. We don't even really have an energy bonus here, too. Yeah, Ryan, but that's okay. Okay, Donald's gonna move energies around. What do you want? You wanna take off the Zatu, or you could kill, take off Mimikyu? Now they want, eventually, the Zatu is gonna evolve and have an ability. So that's okay, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna wanna take a prize card here. Yeah, two prize cards, double kill. Great. Okay. And we got an energy and sisters. Cool. I need all those. Good. How close are we to... We need a few more attacks to get a bench wipe here. We could move damage around, but it's not going to be achieving me... Uh, it's not going to help me much around here. We just need to hover all damage around. Okay. The Luminion, you can search any supporter. It's going to be Raihan. Raihan is a great energy bonus. He's got quite a bit of card stands, but I don't know what's there. So, you, but there's 11 cards in there. That's quite a bit, man. Uh, this, 
just trying to figure out how the other deck works on the side. It seems to burn through a lot of energies. Like I said, you lose energy through attack, you lose energy through retreat, but the build of mixing water and psychic together, I like that. Okay. Dal just repeating himself. He's an old man now. It's like sometimes you hear a Japanese song, you want to sing in Japanese, but you realize that you don't understand Japanese. You can understand English. Oh man, Luminion is charging up too, and Luminion is not a bad choice because it actually has damage to fight uh, some of my Pokemon. It cannot KO Scissors though. It cannot KO Scissors, but it's an interesting uh, card. It can tank a hit from Scissors. Actually, there are too many abilities right now. Oh. Actually, it can take a hit from Scissors. It can take a hit and actually do some fight damage here. It's not bad. Okay. Now, we're going to see the recoil damage. The wizard's going to take revenge and curse his enemies. But, let me see. There, there we go. And there's go to Pyrrhus on the bench right there. There we go. Okay, at this point, I am just looking for my de-evolution right now. So let's see if we can pull it here. Okay, don't listen to our deck. We want to take this card out, so we don't have pull on it. So let's see, I don't need any of you guys here. There's no bench damage coming through me. There's the de-evolution. We know what's in the deck. There's 28 cards left. Do we pull it? We don't pull it. So I'm going to just pull thinners here. I'm pulling an energy because I don't want a thinner, but at this point, I probably should have gone for a thinner there. Anyway, oh, let's just get rid of our hand here. Yeah, recycling stuff. Okay, I don't know what's fine, too. Because <laughs> he's got a lot of cards in his hand right there. We're going to evolve everything. Come on. There are 25 cards to the left. I only get two. Not the nada. All right, do you need to move energies around, Donald? Nah. Or just go ahead and pepper everything. There we go. Not yet. Not yet. Thinking. I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking right what I was thinking back then. But I'm thinking. Okay, so the spread damage. Now I know everybody, if we use our devolution, we will win. Everything is hurt, it's wounded. He's got three more prizes to go, so oh, that's quite a bit of time to look for our devolution here. So hopefully we can find it in time. Hopefully, Donald. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> we already saw the intro of the video, Donald. It's good because you're single prizes, like you have a lot of time to accomplish this. And we did, it was good that we ran into a big heavy evolution deck. Okay. Would work against the Charizard too. Maybe not a God of War. Not, not, not a God of War, I would, I, I think I told you in the intro already. You would probably just want to fight with sisters and not try to do anything crazy. Unless they fill up their bench. Yeah, if God of War fills up his bench and can't put down Cresselia, then they're in trouble. Ooh, so many cards, but gonna shuffle it all back okay so that gives me another chance to find my my stuff here i like my hand has a lot of ways to get rid of cards in his hand so i get a five draw and i also might get a supporter too so we're gonna just we're just trying to find that uh the evolution here all right the fish the 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 the, the, the glissabot he has three pokemons ready to go so do i except i didn't have to spend as many energies as he did there All right, it goes down. We're gonna go damage that as well, and he's gonna send Zatu out. Interesting. Zatu is a free retreat. It might have. I don't think so. I don't think so. Then. All right, Donald is just thinning here. Donald is thinning. Donald just throw everything away. Perfect. We're gonna get another bit barrel. Might as well keep it for next turn if I don't pull the devolution here. There's the disc! There it is! Oh, here we go! We are gonna go ahead. I don't know why it shuts off like that. But here we go! All of them turned into little babies! Oh, there they go! Four and four. And you can see he's like, dang, four prize KO. I think I'll let you do it. G, 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 G. All right. That was awesome. Welcome to the second and 
very intense match. Yeah, that is the second place LAIC deck. And it definitely, definitely is a good, uh, good deck. It's gonna, my backline is, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so let's go and play my cover. This is gonna be the ultimate battle from Dragon Ball Z. Here's my cover of it. Let's go. The old concern, you see those snipers there? I'll, they are gonna destroy my little baby Pokemons. Like, uh, let me see, the barrel. Baby version of a barrel, the baby version of uh, my ghost. The Scythers are okay, they're 90 HP, they're awesome. Now, I have weakness damage, but it doesn't matter when you're a single prize card. I mean, weakness. You, uh, you're gonna die one shot anyway, no matter what kind of card. Weakness or without weakness. A Pokemon has been the same way ever since EX has been released. Donald, you could have gone for the barrel, but Donald got scared. He got cold feet. He was like, man, that's just an easy kill for the the, the other, other stuff. What, what's other stuff? Thinking about it, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an easy kill for the Galays. They're not Galays. They're Iron Valiants. This could be confusing, man. Donald remembers knows the old things. Now, 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 there's like the Pokemon that look exactly like the old Pokemons, but they're called Iron Valiant Iron... Like, just weird names that don't... Those it doesn't look those bike fit. Uh, whatever. Okay, Donald, Donald's just old. Just leave with me here and go with it. Now, he takes the first prize. Prize leads arm port. I mean, yeah, you need a prize lead to win the all. And he can take it by taking KOs. He can take it by taking bench kills. But you see, there's quite a lot of abilities on the field. And he's just... He's not placing more than he needs to, so I don't one-shot him. Which is kind of bad. You saw there was a Charizard going down there. That would have been a nice one prize trade for him, but he doesn't put it down so his Entei doesn't get KO. So that was very smart of him. I saw that. If we could get an Echo and Horn in, then we could just mess him up with that. But we'll see where the Echo Horn comes there. Oh no, do you see this little bug here? I don't see the Mimero taking damage. I don't know if it's on my end, visual bug on my end only. I know it's there. I don't know if he can see it. We'll see. We'll see. Something's up. He's like, he can hide. I don't know. He's hiding his damage counters. He ate all the damage counters. That, 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 that's what happened there. He's just really hungry, Badoof. Okay. So what is Donald going to do? Donald's going to attack. Donald's going to get some damage on the board. And then even if I can't finish it off, I can try to use uh, Miss Magius and other cards to do work with this here. Okay, so. Let's go. I think I should have grabbed the... No, I know I should have. I should have dropped down the Jirachi because Jirachi actually blocked something that I forgot that this deck had here. But the thing is, he's going to take a... Get rid of my Bidoofs, and I need my Trawls here. And now, now that I can already take a KO, he decides to drop the Enta here. So that he can perfectly juggle outside of Scissor's range. Scissor needs five Pokemons, five abilities to one-shot the Ente, which is a lot. And he's just playing around that. And that's why Scissor's has such a... Uh, there's a price to be paid. One-hit kill power comes at a bra cost. And I noticed that Miss Maggie is going to actually take the KO here. So I was like, yeah, this is fine. Miss Maggie is or Scythe can come out. Problem is, I don't know which one is ready. So I have to promote one and commit with one here. So eventually, I hope that I can take Entei out through Alakazam or Miss Magius. And then, oh no, oh no, that's where I was like, maybe I should have dropped the ants. It doesn't, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. We needed the bench space. We needed two, 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 two uh, Badoops because one's going to die and I need my draws. Okay, we're down one prize cards. We're looking like we could be down another prize cards pretty soon or two. And I'm surprised he didn't take a KO. Maybe he there was a visual bug on his side too. Okay, he's weakened them all. Can he do it? Can he do the move? He well, we'll see. There it is. All right, Bidoof is gonna come down. Ugh. Free KO. Oh, and he gets another turn. But he, this, the deck on the other side doesn't have any draw abilities, and sometimes. I realized that it just gets stuck so it just if you eye on them at the mid game. Okay, so now he can do this and get another kill here. 
Yeah, he can kick off. He can, if he killed off Bidoofior, that was been it. <laughs> that, there's no more draws. There's no more extra draws here. So he comes out, and you cannot do Yoga Loop twice in a row. So I got so lucky. He should have attacked. He should have got three prize cards. And so Donald, we gotta make this work, man. I see the Ultra Ball. Yes. And what vengeful punches? She didn't take those out yet. Yeah, they're very useless. They are very useless. This is when Donald 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 still play testing his deck. Okay, he's like, okay, those those punches they're not helping me as much as they should. I was like, extra damage be nice. Nah, nah. I know we're not. He, we can't evolve anything there, so we have to all throw it off there. Here we go, man. We the barrel and pulling those energies was a mistake. I was trying to shake my hands, like I didn't really at least have to do that there. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see. I think he uses some kind of switch to heal, so we can't take him out just yet. We need to get rid of his stadium because he's using it to charge his Pokemon up. And luckily, this is a nice one-shot kill here. Yeah! One-hit KO! So now I've caught up to him. I can one-shot his Pokemon. And that is very vulnerable to Alakazam and Miss Magus here. So I think Alakazam Miss Magus is able to finish it off. And make our work, uh, make it worth it. And not only that, this Maggie's is gonna weaken his whole line. So if he tries to play around with uh, banishing his abilities, we'll still one shot him. Right now, Scissors in the Knight's one shot kill range 250 damage. Okay. We're gonna send the Miss Maggie's out. Even though, you know, he healed it up, we can still, we're fine. We are okay, guys. And now Donald's gonna just get rid of, uh, let me see, retreat? Yeah, I'll let you keep the stadium. I don't know, think I should've let you keep the stadium. It helps in attack. The other deck doesn't only runs like five energies last time I looked at it. Yeah, okay, so how are we doing here? Are we, can we win? He's got three prizes, I'm at four. Dun, dun, dun. And this is where, where by moving with Alagasim and Miss Magus, if he attacks Miss Magus, he'll die. And that's great. That's great, that takes a free KO here. Then Scissors is almost ready to go. I have Clara on hand, so Clara will make sure Scissors can fight. He somehow bosses the Scissors? That's fine. We'll just go with Miss Magus and then we'll work with him again. But he is winning, and would it be, by the next turn, I expect him to be two prize cards away from winning here. So we ha we're on a very tight schedule on what we need to do here, guys. <laughs> And that thing is wounded. Oh, it's wounded. When it's wounded, it doesn't take damage. So, oh gosh. I need the Alakazam so we can try to move energies and take a KO here. Ooh, gonna take a KO through Miss Magus. That man here. Ooh, you are... The other deck, the Entei deck is great. I can definitely see why it's a great deck. It's definitely worth, it, worth that second place in bad. Okay. Too bad that is 30 damage. We have to fight with this here. Okay, we're gonna move damage counters over here. Yeah, we just need to move one. That's it. And he is. He, I, can you see what he can do? He could use Entei and uh, and uh, and Iron Valiant to take a kill, to take a double kill next turn and win the game. So he has potentially can win the game next move. So there's only one card we can play, right, guys. We have to Iono him right now. Bring him down to two cards and try to get him stuck because there's no draw Pokemons on the other side. Then we replace this stadium so he cannot get that uh, card up. He cannot get two energies up too. So stadium denial followed by bricking him with Iono and this might just be the play that we need to do. Okay, so he can retreat into Iron Valley, take a KO. Oh, he got the stadium where my damn... Uh okay, that needs one more energy to attack. He just needs an Iron Valiant kill, a switch. This comes out instead of Iron Valiant. Can he at least attack me? He got the energy. He actually hit the energy, so we, he just had one more switch card. That would have been a KO on that on that front card. He would have won there. Okay, but luckily everything pulled through. That Entei is weakened, and luckily because of the extra bench damage that went off earlier, GG, we got that. Barely, barely, GG. Good game. Ooh, close. Good game. Donald, how good is this deck? I'm gonna give it a B plus. 
Yeah, what I like about it is wiping the board with the one board wipe combo and this thing trades very well. Scissors, as you see, one energy, one shot KO is great. And throughout many matches where I played this about this deck, which is about 20, the win rate was about 50-50. It felt equal to other meta decks and definitely could take on the other meta decks too. So it's an interesting, very cheap deck to play if you think I'm tired of meta decks. Time to bring out scissors and take on casuals. I can say some wins with low ranks is possible with this deck too. So the problem that it has with its abilities is dependent on your opponent, what deck they're playing. I did meet some weird decks like a Sandaconda deck that had zero abilities and that was really rough. Mm-hmm, because actually the base evolution was, I think, at too high of HP. So that was, uh, that was tough. Yeah, so Scissors, your Scissors is the weakest link of this, although he's also the strongest link, too. Anyways, overall, I like this deck. I do recommend it, and it's pretty cheap to play. Okay, so that is that for now. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you guys hopefully next week. Thank you, and bye-bye.